in July 2021, my dad and I started building this woodworking shop garage. After the excavator removed the top layer of the soil, we started digging the trench for the foundation. The size of this building is 6 by 10 meters, so we marked the perimeter with a string line and started digging. This process took probably half a day. We dug a trench of 60 cm deep and 20 cm wide. There is no need for the deeper foundation, because the building will be fairly lightweight, and also we will level the ground with the surrounding ground, so the total height of the foundation will be more than 1 meter, and most of it will be underground. By the way, this pile of gravel was dug by the same excavator on our property, so the cost was less than 100 euros for approximately 40 cubic meters of sand. Quite a bargain. After pouring the concrete to the ground level, we started building the formwork. We used low quality wood, basically leftovers from some past projects. We used a lot of stones. We had them laying around and we did that for my house and other buildings earlier as well, so we simply used what we had. For the walls of the formwork, we used these low-density particle boards. They were given to me by my cousin-in-law. All these sheets were covered in tiles, so we had to remove them with a shovel prior to screwing them onto the posts of the formwork. These lower sections will be for the main door, which is 3 by 2 meters, and for the entry door on the right-hand side of the building. Here's our concrete mixing station. And here we started pouring the concrete to the formwork. We poured layer by layer, walking around the foundation multiple times, until the formwork was filled to the top. We also used steel rebars, making sure they are fully covered with concrete and not touching stones or the formwork. I sprinkled some dry cement on top of the drying concrete to make the surface smoother. Maybe not a necessary step, but it didn't hurt either. The next day I checked the foundation and was pretty happy with the result. I watered the surface multiple times in the upcoming days so the concrete cures better and stays stronger. I used a cheap Chinese laser level to check the top of the foundation. The height difference in some sections was varying up to 8 mm, but I was totally fine with that. Later on, we had to fill the inside of the building with the sand to reach the level on which the concrete floor will be poured. We shoveled in all the broken tiles rather than throwing them away. The final result of the foundation was quite good. There were some discrepancies of a couple of millimeters here and there, but that was totally acceptable. Here I built a ramp for the wheelbarrow for transporting sand to fill the inside of the building. In the evening, when it was dark, I took a laser level and marked the floor level on the inside walls of the foundation. I also marked the level up to which we will need to fill the sand. The thickness of the slab will be 10 cm, and as you can see we needed to add about 30 cm of sand to reach that level. Here you can see that the task was accomplished. It took a couple of days and a lot of elbow grease. But that's what you gotta do when you try to do something really cheap. A few days later, my uncle came to help and we managed to pour the concrete slab in two days, again by mixing the concrete with this little mixer. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel. Take care and see you in the next one.